What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now today, I know you're like, whoa bitch, where'd your hair go? We are just doing a skin video. This is kind of like a part one to a look I'm going to be posting in two more days. So if you watch this one, the full transformation will be up like a day or two later. So this is just focusing on skin today. So when I did my what's in my bag video, a lot of you were like, hmm, what looks different? Did you get surgery? Do you look darker? Well, let me explain it. Thank God for makeup because the trickery wiped off later that night. So what did I do differently in that video? Besides doing that long peachy coral amazing wig, I also used a lot of bronzer. And we're talking a lot of bronzer. I definitely used something darker and I also mixed foundations that darken my overall complexion. So what did I do different? I brought the highlight to an all time crazy 10. So usually I'm maybe at a nine and a half, Today we're at a 20. So if you want to see how to get this crazy Barbie skin, then keep on watching. To get started, you really want to have moisturized skin. So whatever is super moisturizing for you guys, use that before you start. I'm going to be using a new product from La Mer. This is called the Perfecting Treatment, and it's basically their new primer. It's supposed to be really hydrating and give you a really nice finish. So let's get started. So I'm just going to take a little bit, rub it in my hands. And let's rub it all in our skin. Oh, it smells so refreshing. I'm like, mmm. Come through moisture. I'm gonna let that soak in for a second. All right, now for foundation, I'm actually gonna do a shade a little darker than what I normally do. So if you watch the What's in My Bag video, you were probably like, oh, she's a little more tan. Um, yes, I used a little darker foundation. So today I'm gonna be using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm gonna be using this today, and I'm also gonna be mixing with this Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition foundation. Jesus H. So I bought a shade darker than my usual skin tone and I'm going to be mixing this today. Now both of them say shake well before use. Well then let's get to shaking. Okay, that should be good. So I usually just use the back of my hand. We're just going to do a few pumps. One, two, mm, two and a half. And then this one I do a little less because it is darker and... We'll see, we'll just do like a little, bam, that should be good enough. And always put the caps back on your stuff right away. No one wants your foundation to dry out. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a damp beauty blender. Now this is more damp than usual. This is like really nice and wet. So I'm just gonna take this foundation and move it around and mix it on my hand. Now I'm gonna take it, right, and I'm just gonna start dotting it around my face. So obviously we're not blending it, we're just, we're dabbing. We're not dabbing with marijuana, we are dabbing with foundation. I like to really get everything covered and we are going to bring some down the neck later because my neck is like Casper the Ghost and this foundation is a little more bronzy. Now it's time to blend and I'm just going to use the back of my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend this out. Now this damp beauty blender is really going to help just really get that skin nice and glistening. So we are just going to blend this out. Now notice how I had a little yellow bruising still from my hairline surgery. We're just going to go right over that and cover it up and continue to blend and buff. And then the ears are important for this one so they match your skin tone. And then we're gonna bring it all the way down the neck and then we're gonna just take it down. Now I'm gonna take it under my eyes one more time and just really buff it into my skin. So that primer moisturizer is working. It looks amazing. And I'm starting to become Malibu Barbie right before your eyes. After this foundation is drying and settling in, it does have a little luminosity to it, which I love. So if you see when I turn my cheek, you see that little highlight right there. That is no makeup except the foundation, which is really cool. It gives you kind of that glow. So if I coated my entire face with powder like normal, I would lose all of that and I would turn into a matte mannequin doll head. Kind of like this guy. Now, we don't want to look like her today. We want to look like a dewy, bronzy Barbie doll. So. Sorry, Jeffrey Jr., you need to go away today. All right, so I'm gonna be doing some highlight and contour and then extreme shine, which is how you get that effect in all my pictures. So before we do that, I'm gonna be taking this Tache Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, and we're just gonna shake this up lightly. Now, usually I've seen people use this as a primer. I know Nikki Tutorials has raved about this. So, girl, this should better be good. And I'm actually gonna use it after my foundation, almost kind of like a dewy setting spray. I did this the other day for that look. Oh, I love it. Is that enough? It's never enough. 
<sighs> okay, now we are going to do some light highlighting and contouring, and then we're gonna get into that Barbie sparkle. So, I'm gonna be going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in shade Fair, and I love this because it's really creamy, it just blends amazing, and I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna do a lot today, because we want that extreme highlight, like, hi, we need Ken to wanna fuck us again, so we need to really feel highlighted. Okay, now what else do we wanna highlight? Maybe the little, you know, smile lines that I hope and pray I never have. And then we'll just, of course, we gotta do our forehead. And then, hi, just a little bit down the nose. Give our chin a little moment, and that should be good for me. Now, of course, with our damp beauty blender, we start to blend. Now I'm taking this highlight all the way back to my hairline, and I'm gonna take it up a little bit. You want an appearance of like, whew, good morning. All right, now we're gonna take this Laura Mercier Cream Contour Book. If you've never tried this, ooh! I know I'm not a huge fan of cream contours, but this one, you guys, I use the medium three, it's the darkest shade in the palette, and I am such a fan of this. I'm gonna be taking a Smith Cosmetics 220 brush. Now, I don't know if this is really specifically for contouring. I use it because I just love the way the brush is, so I'm just gonna dip in there, and I'm gonna do my cheekbones a little higher than you guys normally see. And guess what? I'm gonna stop right there. So, a lot of people were like, you look really different in that bag video. I did my contour way different than how I normally do it, and I didn't do it as low. So we're gonna take this, and we're just gonna paint on. Obviously, we're gonna blend that out. <laughs> just kidding, we're done. We're gonna really define that jawline, and I'm gonna take it and go all the way in. Of course, when this is blended out, this will look a lot more subtle, but I use the darkest shade because it just blends nicely and actually shows up. Sometimes if you use a shade that's too light, it just blends into your skin and you're like, oh, I didn't do anything. And then, for the forehead, I actually just take it and go like this a little bit, so there'll be a little product on the Beauty Blender now. And, of course, since I have a wig cap on, I can blend over that cap, and I just go in like that and buff the product directly on the forehead. Now, of course, before the surgery, I needed about 20 more minutes. But now that my hairline is a little lower, it is a lot easier to get ready. Now, this may look a little more severe than normal. That's what I'm going for. Now we're gonna buff out those cheeks. Now, when I do that, I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna kinda squeeze it a little like this, and then I'm gonna manipulate the product of where I want it to go. So if you want it to stay there and not bleed down, you just press and go up. All right, the contour is buffed in. I am loving how this is looking. Come on, bronze. And then I'm actually gonna shock you guys and go back in with that Tecache spray. Wait, Tecache? Tecache? Did I say that correctly? Sorry if my California accent fucked it up. I'm just gonna go over that contour and the whole face with this again. Now this says it's a dewy skin mist. It really works. It's a, it's a nice little refresher. Now I'm so used to being matte. This is kind of hard for me to handle. I'm like, mmm. But I love it. My skin feels really nice. So the contour is buffed in. I am loving it. Now the only powder I'm gonna use today before I do a cream and then powder highlight, yes, that's how I did that trick, I am going to set my under eye. So let's pull out our Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm gonna be really light with this today. And I'm just gonna dab in the Beauty Blender like so, bam, and that's it. You wanna stay really hydrated. And a lot of the times I see people putting on so much powder under their eyes, it just kinda like takes away all that moisture. So if you have dry skin, I really wouldn't do baking or anything like that because you're just gonna look way more dry than you need to. So I am just pressing this powder under my eye Eyes, really minimal that will get rid of any fine lines that we're starting to show no matter how youthful we can look under the eyes we can all get creasing which is so annoying all right now before we highlight we're gonna go in with a little bit more bronzer now this Chanel one if you guys have not tried this this is called the Soleten de Chanel it's amazing when I find something that actually works I like stick with it and this is really cool it comes in a jar like this it's kind of thin and you take off the little plastic guy and it's there. Now it has like a mousse like texture so I take the brush that Chanel recommended. Of course it's one of theirs. This is the foundation brush number seven and as always everything I use today will be listed in the description.
description box below. So we're just gonna take this and I'm just gonna swisher it around. And I like this because it's really light. Even though it looks to be heavy in here, it's really nice. So I'm just gonna kind of go over where that contour was and just kind of blend up. So this is where I'm just gonna kind of go in and define that cream contour and just kind of go a little bit more ham than normal. We're going for that America's Next Top Faggot, like beautiful, Flawless finish. Come through, Tyra! Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this and drag it under my chin. All right, bronzing is complete. Now it brings me to my favorite item of last year. This is the Natasha Denona Face Glow Like Shimmer Cream. Yes, this is a cream. Now I wore this a few times last year in the summer and my cheeks were like radioactive. When people walked by me, their, their eyes were like, Ugh. So I'm gonna be using this today and she also has a setting powder for the cream, which I think is genius. Now, if you've never heard of Natasha, her makeup line is based out of Israel, where she's from, and she has really dope YouTube videos as well. And I love her techniques and her products are just, <sighs> I know I sound like QVC, but I'm actually obsessed with her. And of course, she has her own brush, which I've never really seen a brush like this. It's like tapered, so cool where the hairs are like dense in there, but then it has these little sparse ones. So Natasha's trick that she always talks about is that she uses the cream and she uses a beauty blender. So this is high shine, like extreme pigment. So last time I used it on my actual face and it was like, oh my God, intense. So I'm just gonna use it with the beauty blender today. And if it's not bling enough, we'll just add more. A trick that I did in my what's in my bag video is I took my highlight and I didn't bring it all the way down like I usually do. I kept it more on the high planes of my cheeks, which will give it a more elevated look. So I'm going to squeeze my beauty blender where that product was and I'm just gonna lightly start dabbing it on. Now, obviously already you're like, ooh. So this is me really shearing it down. Now you can build it up and go crazy in a second, which is exactly what I did. So notice how I'm not taking my highlight all the way down. We're keeping it a little more here. And that is the trick for this look. Now I'm just taking it and I'm layering a little more on there. And you wanna put this right above your contour and put it on the high planes of your face. All right, now I love to take it and kind of go around where I draw my brows in and just kind of give it that really intense sheen. As the product gets a little bit more less on the Beauty Blender, I like to go around the brows. And then notice how I did not contour the nose earlier. Barbie don't got no contour nose, but we are gonna do some extreme shine and leave the nose looking like a beacon of hope. Since this is a cream, we are going to set it with the glow powder. This is shade number one called Light. And I'm just gonna take this brush that was designed for this and we're just gonna dip it in here. Now this is supposed to be a setting glow powder for the cheeks, so I'm just going to put this right on top. Ooh, yes, lips. It's like metal drenched. Now, normally I stay away from my chin. I'm gonna put a little bit underneath my mouth because this is extreme glow today. And then we're just gonna take some of that powder and put it above our brows and then the tip of your nose. You can do as much as you want. This is an extreme luminosity type of look. So cake it on. All right, now to finish off this look, we are gonna be using the Burberry Nude Glow High lighter. Mm, you guys know this is my favorite. So we're gonna be using a Morphe 510 as always and we're just gonna barely dip in there because fuck this is pigmented and I'm gonna take it right here. So just on the really high planes of my cheeks, we're gonna add even more. This highlighter sticks to that cream and it just makes it insane. But look at that. Ooh! And again, just right here. If you want your face to look like you just took a bath in metal, this is it. I'm gonna be doing a little mist and fix for Makeup Forever. This is a good setting spray when you wanna keep all that glossy amazingness. <sighs> all right. So after you have taken a shower in your makeup setting spray, I mean, of course, you wanna finish off this look with full crazy eyes, eyebrows, maybe a little blush, you don't need the blush, lips, full hair, and whatever outfit you want of the choice. But for now, this is just a skin tutorial, so we are done, you guys. I think maybe just to finish off so I don't look like an alien head, I'm just gonna throw on some lip gloss. Ah, hi, Shimmer. And this look is complete. 
Alright guys, so this is the final complete look. Now, why do I call it Barbie skin? Because I get asked all the time, how do I get that type of effect on my pictures? I know a lot of you think it is Facetune or Camera Plus or an app. It's honestly all good lighting and makeup. Now, what do I normally do after this sort of look is done? I go outside and I go in the shade, not the direct sun, but if you find some shade where the sun is glowing around you, get that camera out, click, click, and your cheeks are gonna look exactly like mine do. So I hope you guys learned some new tricks and tips for this look. And as always, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up down below, and if you wanna see part two of this video, if you wanna see part two of this video, it'll be up in a few days for that full transformation. All right guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon, bye.